Okay, I was trying to explain to people, fellow programmers, what a truly interactive GUI is like, and it's not easy to do by hand waving. Everyone already has preconceived uh, ideas of what a GUI is, so I'm restarting my NB OpenGL um, tutorial image. And it takes a little bit of time to set up, and there you go. You see your NB OpenGL window rendering some text into a GL texture. We're now going to. Uh, drag the workspace out of the window it's associated with and uh, make sure we can accept drops in our GL window and go ahead and drop it in and now you can see that that workspace is now part of the GL window and it's properly handling overlapping and clipping and everything else. So now we're going to add a transcript. Drag it out a little bit. Resize it so it'll show up immediately. Drag it in. And if all went well, there you see it. So now we have a live thing. Notice it's overlapping. So we can say transcript show 100 factorial carriage return and do it. And there we have. Okay, you've seen that kind of thing before, but notice it's now fully interactive with the um, GL window and is now overlaid on top of the GL window. And of course, if we really wanted to be silly, we could have actually embedded a new um, widget or a set of widgets and they would have appeared here and have been fully part of this window. Now notice that these windows or these morphs are all being rendered into one texture, this background texture that um, the OpenGL text is rendering into. But there's no reason why you couldn't make things more interesting by giving um, a different GL, OpenGL texture to each of these uh, widgets and um, render them individually into OpenGL on their own layers so that not only do they show the, the standard overlap, but you could rotate them and resize them and, and change the Z values so they appear behind each other within the OpenGL 3D space. And that's still just the tip of the iceberg. You could extend that to um, collaborative efforts over the internet and who knows what else. When you have a truly interactive um, graphical user interface, um, you can do an awful lot more than with a, st a standard static one. And of course, Morph was designed for 2D and doesn't even have a concept of 3D. So if we really wanted to get fancy, we could start over from scratch with a 3D morph design and uh, work with that. So uh, I just wanted to make a point that uh, whatever you think you know about graphical user interfaces, you really don't they just haven't really progressed that much since the original Smalltalk interface. Morph is a step up, but it's only a minor step.